Hello and welcome to Right Now for Wednesday the 25th of October 2017. I'm Tim Wilms. The latest participation figures for the Australian Bureau of Statistics uh, Marriage Postal Survey were released uh, yesterday. The ABS has now received 11.9 million responses, which is a uh, 74.5% uh, turnout of eligible voters. Each week, the response rate continues to increase, which disproves the claims of critics of the survey that Australians wouldn't bother to respond to uh, a voluntary survey or that young people didn't know what a post box was. The results of this survey will be released Wednesday the 15th of November 2017. The polls say yes will win by around 20 points, but nobody should be sure of what the result will be. The Australian Federal Police raided both the Melbourne and Sydney offices of the Australian Workers' Union on behalf of the Registered Organisations Commission. This was part of an investigation into a $100,000 AWU donation to GetUp in 2006 when Bill Shorten was its uh, National Secretary over whether the donation was uh, properly authorised. Labor and the trade union movement uh, have expressed their outrage and have accused the government of orchestrating a politically motivated raid designed to damage the opposition. This happened just a day after the Australian Electoral Commission moved to have GetUp listed as an associated en entity which would require its uh, funding to be disclosed. One questions whether this will really damage uh, Bill Shorten Labor and the unions, given that they survived the uh, Trade Union Royal Commission. Even if, hypothetically, the federal government did play a part in organising these raids, it would seem to be a politically dead end. The managing director of the ABC, Michelle Guthrie, was the latest public servant to be grilled at this week's Senate estimates. She was finally forced to disclose the salaries of ABC employees, which is now required as part of a deal the federal government made with One Nation to have media reform passed. The highest paid employee is a woman who is most likely to be Lee Sales, who earns 460000 a year. Mich Michelle Guthrie was also proud there was no gender wage gap at the ABC. Uh, whoop de doo of course, the ABC receives $1 billion in taxpayers' funds every year, so we have a right to know how it is spent. New Zealand Labour leader and incoming Prime Minister Jacinta Ardern and New Zealand First Leader Winston Peters made their coalition agreement uh, official yesterday. Winston Peters will be Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Foreign Affairs, both positions he has held before. It will usher in a new era of far-left economic policy into New Zealand, which includes more government funding for uh, environmental conservation and climate change action. But arguably the most ludicrous new policy is to raise the minimum wage to $20 per hour, which will only increase uh, unemployment and make it harder for young people to break into the labour market. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and check back here tomorrow to see what is happening right now then.